All right, here we go. Uh, we're going to start right away. Um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so delighted to be with you again. It's a wonderful day, wonderful evening, wonderful people. Everything is just so great. Okay, um, we're going to start right away. I have some interesting things for us to discuss. You, you, you see, um, a lot of things are happening all over the world today. Like, I was just sharing some things in my WhatsApp group, uh, some, some, some latest happening in the world. You know, I was just sharing some of those things. Like, if you come to my WhatsApp group, I was just sharing some of those, some of those things. Uh, uh, like, uh, what, I'm sure everybody knows this guy, J.P. Morgan. J.P. Morgan, who oh, is owning one of the biggest bank in USA. You see, in 2017, this guy, he said Bitcoin was a fraud. And people were so scared in 2017. 2018, in the media, he was saying that he regretted saying that and in 2019 you can now find him coming up with a 2019 he's coming up with his own coin known as gpm coin this is something so wonderful this is to tell you that what this is to tell you to understand the degree of uh, innovations that are going on in the, in the in the financial world it is happening so quick it is happening so fast that if you are not, uh, uh, if you are not in the train, if you don't catch up very fast, right? It is going to be, uh, uh, in fact, you are going to regret it that much because you will see a revolution happening right in your face and you'll be seeing it passing you by. And today I was telling people on my WhatsApp page that they have to be grateful for uh, um, having people that have introduced them into TBC. They have to be very, very grateful because TBC is the only, is the only kind of its, the only one of its type. There is, I always tell people there is no reference point for TBC. Now, if this guy is coming up with his own cryptocurrency and he precise in his cryptocurrency that, that this is going to be stable, you know, there are some economists that will tell you they have their own school of thought. They will tell you money is not supposed to be stable. Money is supposed to be dancing. Money is supposed to go up and money is supposed to come down, which is not true. It is not true. Everything was planned. Everything was planned for us to be living a life of illusion. You know? So, don't think that the fact that we are the first cryptocurrency that are stable, we are doing something wrong. We are just doing the best thing. We are just having the best thing. And many people don't know yet. Many people don't know yet. Trust me, after two years from now, after three years from now, all those owning TBC will be speaking a different language. They'll be speaking a different language. So, please look at somebody who owns a very big bank in USA, where he said TBC, uh, sorry, he said Bitcoin was a scam. Some said it was a bubble. You know, most of these elites, they always, it's just like, it's just like now you are doing TBC, many people look at it as shit. You have shit coin. You can't do anything with this coin. As a result of that, I can't do it. You can't do it, fine. In 2008, there were people that said Bitcoin was shit. In 2009, there were still some that said Bitcoin was shit. 2010, before many things, people started waking up. After three, four years. TBC is just three years old. TBC is just three years old. And we have already have lots and lots of things happening. We already have a platform. Mr. Sajo, you have to unmute, you have to mute yourself, please. You have to mute yourself because we don't want noise here. Any person that makes noise will kick him out. So guys, this is to tell you that we are in something serious, very, very serious. And if you don't understand it now, I don't, you, I don't understand that. 
I don't know where you, under, you, you ever understand that. Let people look at it like shit coin or whatever. Fine, no problem. Just do your cash flow. Just do your cash flow. Go ahead with your cash flow. Go ahead with your education. Go ahead with whatever they are telling you here to do. And before you know it, many institutions will start getting up. Many institutions will start being our partner. And of course, Look at what is happening in India today. I was just trying to browse through. A, uh, maybe I should share my screen with you. I don't know if my screen is my screen share. Of course, I was just going through what is happening. We have one of our great leaders in, in India who is doing a powerful job. And this, I just happened to stumble on this. I will take somebody out very soon. I, I just happened to stumble on this. And this is a platform in India that are taking up to 20% in CBC. They deal with cars and bikes, 20%. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. A time will come when you have a lot of such things like that. <laughs> Mr. Sajo, I will kick you out. I'm very serious. I will not warn you again. So, a time will come when we are going to have lots of platforms like this. We are going to have many platforms like this. It's just the beginning. If you go to our Kringle Cash, if you go to our Kringle Cash back office, if you go to our Kringle Cash back office. I don't know when people do not follow simple instructions. So the next thing I'll just have to do is to figure you out. You don't follow my instruction, I kick you out. It's as simple as that. So, we don't want distractions. We don't want noise. People should respect that. Okay. So, this is what I, I was trying to say uh, before that distraction came in. Oh my God. If you go to our Kringle Cash today, our Kringle Cash back office, you realize that what? You realize that lots and lots of merchants keep coming. You, you come here, merchant location. You find lots of merchants. Even in Cameroon, they are gradually increasing. You find a lot of people, a lot of merchants coming in. Every day they are adding. Every day they add. Merchants keep coming. Keep coming gradually. You know, this is just one part of Cameroon. If you go to Nigeria, you go to India, you go to China, lots, especially India. So, guys, we are into something very big, very, very big. Yes, uh, the other day, uh, I, I promise you guys that I'm going to teach you how to do reports because you are supposed to do reports. Like for example, here is my reports of my eyes breaking within the past three days. Within the past three days, I have been able to carry out more than 150 eyes breakers. And I have some two out of these that will be doing transaction with me next week. I have been able to do more than one. And the admin, you, you find some of this on the blog. You find some of this on the blog, this is it, my day three. I want everybody to watch this video and subscribe to my YouTube page, my YouTube channel. Everybody should watch and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Because as you watch, right? As you watch, you are going to see the way I'm doing my icebreaker. Learn from me and practice. It's not about learning. If you are learning and you're not practicing, you are failed. Learn how to set up your own reports. It is not hard. 
what you do is you just go to Google, right? Just go to Google here like this or Gmail. Just go to your Gmail. Uh, I'm sorry. Just go to your Gmail like this. And you click here. Then you come to Drive. Uh, when mm -hmm. you click on Drive, opens like this. You come mm -hmm. to New. You come. You want mm -hmm. to take a spreadsheet. This is a spreadsheet. This is a Google spreadsheet. You come here. You take blank spreadsheet. You click there, and it opens. You see, this is a blank spreadsheet, just like what we have in Excel. This is an Excel spreadsheet, something like that. So, for example, you can say maybe day one right day one those of people on facebook who are whose whose name begin with aa you have touched 20 for example you have some ab you have touched maybe 10 maybe ac you have touched another maybe 15 then the next day now can be day after that you can give a total here 20 plus 25, that's 45. 45, that's day one. Tomorrow, you can say day two. Day two, you stop here with AC. So you now have AC, AD. You come here, you put it. Two, maybe. Those names after AC, after AC, AD, AE, for example, maybe 10, AF, AF, maybe uh, 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 25, or uh, I don't know, maybe 40, you know. Then later on, you can now come, you can say total, or for example, you can say total, total, you have uh, 1050 plus 252, 52, that's for day two. Then you now come, you can skip another line, day, day three, day three. We end up here with AF. And how do you get this AF? Let me show you how do you get this AF on Facebook. Come here. This video should tell you how to do that. That video is there that is explaining everything how to do that. So if I go to my Facebook page or my Facebook channel and um, come to, come to my, my, my home page, you see I have 4,900 and something people. So you see that I have, I even noticed that when I come AE, I will realize that I have three, one, two, three. Look at my report. That was the first day. You see, my first day, AE. Have you seen this? Three. Three people. AB. Those are, I've touched all these three people. Those names that start with AB. AB, right? I come here. A, B. I'll send them icebreaker, 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 icebreaker. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's see my reports. Did you see that? A, B, 20. 20. This is how I'm going to, I'm, I'm on A, L. After this call, I have another video to shoot, where well, I'll continue. I have to continue until I make sure that I have touched everybody on, on, on my Facebook page. Trust me, by the time you touch all these people, you have to see, you see yourself doing transaction. There'll be some people that you think that you have touched them. But by the time you do this, you find yourself that, hey, I have not yet touched this man. Hey, when you follow this, and you do your report, you actually know whether you are working or not. Trust me, many of us think that we are working. Many of us think that we are super, we are, we are good. It is only from doing these personal reports. You, I even do reports on my finances. I don't know whether some of you do reports on your finances daily. You have to do this. You have to do reports on your finances daily. If you receive 10 francs, you report that from TBC, you have carried out a transaction of 10 francs. 
or ten dollar or whatever. So, guys, numbers is the magic. You see, many companies they will tell you about numbers. They will sack many workers because they will tell you that the numbers are not increasing. Numbers is the magic. Numbers, the magic word. Once the numbers are not increasing, there is a problem. The problem is not me. I am doing it and it's working. The problem that you guys have is that you guys are busy thinking that you are working. Meanwhile, in reality, you are not working. In reality, your report shows that you are not touching people enough. Just do ice breaking, ice breaking, ice breaking. Some people will reply. I'll, I'll, if you watch those videos, you will see that in those videos, some people were even replying. And I was replying and showing you what to do, what to tell those people. Close people and people that are not closer to you. You have to touch all of them. I have trained you here how to touch people that are closer to you and people that are not closer to you. But guys, numbers. Numbers are the key. If your numbers are not increasing, there is a problem. Don't go and touch five persons tomorrow. And come and tell me, uh, Mr. Mbe, I touch five persons. What is five persons? You're not serious. Me, I'm touching 50 persons per day. I'm, I'm challenging myself. I challenge myself. If you don't have Facebook page, you have WhatsApp. And even if you don't have Facebook page, you have the Facebook, you, you, a friend to your friend is your friend on Facebook. And a friend to your friend will have maybe 50 to 100 persons. And you should be looking for a strategy to touch all of them. As a result of that, you will definitely become a sponsoring machine. Objective is for you to become a sponsoring machine. A sponsoring machine is he that is making this every day, every day. This is, these are reports. These are reports. This is my objective per day, $500. But if I come on $100, no problem. That is, that is, that is what they say. That is, that, is, that is how they classify a sponsoring machine. If you are not making money daily, you are not a sponsoring machine. You are either not doing what I'm doing, or you want to do it alone. You don't want to bring your leader in. That's just it. You are either doing the wrong thing, or you want to do it alone. You want to make the money alone. Before I became a sponsoring machine, I have worked with other people. I have even paid trainings. I have worked with Randy for many months. I was even paying, you know? You have to learn, you have to pay the price. You have to pay the price. Once you are not paying the price, you are not doing the right thing, you can't become a sponsoring machine. I am still insisting in this because many of you, you are still to pick up with this. You are still to be making a hundred dollars per day. You are still to. And once you have not arrived at the level where you have a hundred dollars coming in every day, trust me, and for you to know that you are working, for you to know that you are working, you must, right? You must have your report coming up every day. You should be able to challenge yourself with your reports. You should be able to challenge yourself like me. 59 live broadcasts, right? 59 live broadcasts, 50 live broadcasts, 50 live, uh, sorry. Uh, a 50 icebreaker. Yes. Out of this, only three people contacted me and replied. Out of this, only five contacted me and replied. Out of this, only 10 contacted me and replied. You will see that before I spend seven days, I'm going to have at least 10 people to put in money in CBC. I'm going to have even five. If I have five, that comes in and put in just a hundred, hundred dollar per week, or per, I will be having the results like this. This is where we are working. This is where we are driving to. This is where we are driving to. And if you can't drive here, my dear friends, if you can't drive your numbers up, then you have a problem. Then you are not following instruction or you are just lazy. You need to touch these people. 
have your report. So I have shown you how to, how to uh, create a spreadsheet, how to create a new spreadsheet. And this is an example that I've shown you here, right? This is an example that I've shown you here. Day one, day two, day three, 50 here. Total, this, day one, this, this, this. I want everybody on Monday to do this and print it out. Listen to my assignment. I will want everybody that on Monday, you must have shown me your reports from Monday to, from, sorry, from Friday to Monday. Let's say Sunday is resting day. So we have Saturday and we have Monday, you have two days. So each and every one of you must have touched at least 100 people. I say tomorrow, Saturday, and tomorrow and Monday. Let's forget about Sunday because you might say that Sunday you don't want to work. You must, everyone in this group must touch 100 people. So when you are coming, you should hold your report like this. You should hold your report like this. Hold it like this. When you are coming on Monday, your report should be like this. This is what I want to see. Day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, or day what whatsoever, I don't know. So once you do this, then let me tell you something. Eh? It don't cost me anything for me to know that you guys are not working. It doesn't cost me anything to know. When somebody is working, when the group of people are working, there are many questions always coming. Somebody told me like this, Look, there is one lady here, Madam Odere. She's not even there. She's always sending me texts and asking me questions that this person said like this. What should I reply to that person? Messages are always coming in. And that's what makes me to understand that she's working. When somebody is not working, there is no question. That's why when you come here and I said, do you have any question? Everybody's looking at me like this. Is there anything? Everybody looking at me like this. Because you are not working. That's the truth. Let's face it. You guys are not working. You guys are lazy. I'm challenging you guys today that you guys are lazy and you need to wake up and sacrifice two hours. My eyes breaking that I'm doing do not take me even one hour. It does not take me one hour. My problem is that you guys should be able to touch a great number of people. Then those people will start giving you headache. And that's when you will send the headache to me. It is only when you send me those headaches that I'll know that you guys are having troubles. Then it shows that you guys are working. When the headaches are coming in just few, two, three, there is no work now. You guys are not doing anything, my people. So you people are coming here to do what? When you, have, you don't have many questions. By the time you are coming here, I wish I was in your shoe. Oh my God. By the time I'm coming, I already have paper like this filled with question. Question one. Please, I had this problem. Somebody asked me this. What should I tell the person? Question two. Somebody said, this thing is not working like this. What do you think I should tell? That is what you guys need to be telling me here. But since they are not coming, there is no work being done. There is no work. Do you want to have the results? The admin said, in one of his blog posts that before doing TBC, he's already a millionaire. He's living a, what they call a five-star laptop or a, a laptop or a five-star laptop style, right? Something like that. He said he pronounced something like that. Now, he is living a life of five-star laptop life or something like that. Five-star laptop or something. I've forgotten that, that how, you, how you pronounce it. That is where we are going to. These are my own results. Yes, you cannot be perfect every day, but something, something. It should not be every day zero, 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 zero. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. There should be something flowing. There should be something flowing, coming in. And before you know it, at the end of the month, you should be coming out with $2,000. You should be coming on with $1,000. You should be coming. If you come on with $1,000 per month, man, you are a great man. You are great. 
But you think that those one thousand dollars will just come and meet you? I share for you. It will never. Until you do what others are doing to succeed. Look at our brother Randy. Every day, live broadcast, live broadcast. He has his coaching section. Look at uh, 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 Stephen Coffey. Every day he has his live broadcast and all that. Look at uh, those from India. Every day. You too, you should choose something that you do every day in TBC for money to flow. Every day I'm breaking my eyes. I break, I break here, break there, break there, break there, break there. Yes, some will insult you, some will block you, some will say this, some will do that. I don't care. If you insult me, I block you. I have, we have two billion people on Facebook. Nonsense. Give me space. Why should we be friends when we are not making money? You block me, I block you too. Go to the next person. Some people say it is shit. No problem. I block you. You are occupying my space. Have a good life. Croop. You are blocked. So if you people come here every day and I don't have questions, it is the, it is the truth. No work is being done. You people should not even argue. No work is being done. You guys think that you are working, but there's no work. Please, I want reports on Monday like this. If not, don't come for my training. Go you away. If you don't want to do what I'm doing, do report like this and come and show me here. And when you show me, we are going to share your screen. We will share your screen and you show me those icebreakers that you have touched on Facebook. Okay. Let's take question and answers. Or reactions before we go. I will not take much of your time. You feel free to unmute. Can I say something, please? Yes, sir. Um, my worry here is uh, just the gesticulations in terms of uh, the screen in itself, how to you know share the screen and so on. I'm just hoping that one of the closest persons I work with would uh, maybe visit me tomorrow or the day after so that uh, he can uh, instruct me on how to do that. As in terms of uh, ice breaking also, this afternoon I certainly did that exercise. Right. A, day, a day before yesterday when I was not uh, in the meeting or so, I had a problem with uh, data. So if, I mean, I'm sure Bless is there hearing. So after this, please, I would like him to enlighten me on a number of things. And certainly, if you want a thousand questions, we're certainly going to ask. And very reasonable ones. Of course. Thank you very much. Welcome, sir. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much, Prof. Um, I want those questions coming. I think Madam, Madam uh, Adiola should say something because... She, before coming here, at 6 p.m., I had a meeting with her, with her people. Madam, please, tell something. Tell them, because I know that you are working. The revenue might not be coming in now, but you are always there ready to do something. You are always there ready to fight. Please, tell us what is happening. Yes, good evening, everybody. Can you... Yes, go ahead. Can you hear me? Good evening. Yes. Um, I have been doing ice breaking exactly <clears throat> like um, you, I saw you doing. As a matter of fact, I, I started the day you, you started to, um, to do the ice breaking and I have been recording on the um, Google spreadsheet. So it is working. In fact, some days I would even do beyond 50. Great. Did you hear that? And Did you hear that, guys? Beyond 50. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The, the evidence I will show on um, said has it challenged us. I, I want to thank you very much for the, your, the, the very frank way in which you are um, talking to us, because you see, um, if one wants to um, wallow in excuses, 
excuses can be found in quantum. But excuses will remain what they are, excuses, and they, they will not put any money in our pockets. They will not lead us to. And so, I, I put, like, um, like Coach said, um, the last training, at the last training, when I spoke about my own peculiar challenges that my people are not, um, they are not proactive in downloading the Zoom app. We went on WhatsApp. I actually created two groups. Yeah. One for, one was, I, I, I tagged it TBC Revived. That is for um, people who already have TBC coins, but you know, they, because they are not making any money, they have lost any um, all focus, they need to be recharged. Then the second group, I call them new TBCs. Now, the two groups, coach wanted to handle the two groups. None, I actually, during in they didn't pick. So, <laughs> like, say, 30 minutes after the whole thing ended, <laughs> they now came on board and were saying, ah, I'm very sorry. I said, well, uh, uh, so what... Um, what is what is the new time? I said there's no new time. We'll have to reschedule according to um, the schedule. I mean, um, if the coach has time out of his very busy schedule, they started apologizing. I'm very sorry. I said, well, you didn't come on board, so we will find time for you. Of course. And the second um, group I called them to they came, two of them two out of three came and only and you know the, the, the second one <laughs> when I called him he, he came immediately he was the one who started asking questions the first person who came did not even say anything he asked questions and the, the session was wow <laughs> And I, I followed him and told them that, look, I, they have to, first of all, dine live training. I would send the um, TBC trainings, I mean, the, 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 yeah, the trainings, the training videos to them. I said, okay, as promised, I will send you the first two. You need to watch them and then watch others so that they can catch up with the um, live training sessions. So yeah. I, I, I dropped it that. At least I think they would begin to, by the time they watch the videos, actually, they would begin to, have second thoughts about taking this thing serious. Of course. So that's, that's been my experience. Thank you very much, everyone. You're welcome, man. You're welcome. Thank yes. you for sharing that uh, great testimony and how you have organized your group, organized your work, so that people should really see that it's not just about uh, uh, um, uh, talking, but at least you have, you have already tried to organize we are working so much so that we have those that are exhibitions and those that are new people coming in. That's, that's, that's wonderful. And the fact that they actually was a new time, you said, no, they should wait. You will reschedule. That is perfect. That makes them to understand that they are losing something very important. They should not feel that we are begging them to come to us or we have a, the whole time for them. Listen, when somebody comes to me, for the first time, I said, look, I have five minutes. In fact, I have a post that I took from the blog. Let me show you. I'll tell you, we can schedule an appointment. We can schedule a five-minute appointment. 
right? I'll tell you, we can schedule a five minutes appointment. And, and when, 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 when some, sometimes they'll be like, just five minutes. I say, yeah, five minutes, my friend. I don't have time. I don't have time. Now, um, let, me, let me see, let me show you what I have. I have a post here that is talking about my five minute appointment. I don't know where I've kept it, but it's somewhere. Where I will tell you, I can give you five minutes of my time. Five minutes. And the next five minutes, if I feel that you might not listen to my video, well, I can't really trace it there. If I feel that you can't listen to my video, I say, okay, I have five minutes for you. Are you ready for my five minutes? You say, fine, good. The first five minutes, we discuss. And I tell you what I'm doing, my terms and conditions, my partnership negotiation. I tell you, are you ready? You say, yes, I'm ready. Okay, next one or next video, or I'm saying, look, this is what we are doing so far. Go and clean your Facebook page. My objective now is Facebook training until when all of you become a sponsoring machine for go to the next level. You guys, who, we are almost two months training now, but it appears we have not picked it. But I'm sure that by the time we reach 90 days, many of you will become sponsoring machine. By the time we reach our day 90, trust me, if we work like this, by the time we reach day 90, you might not see the progress. Yes, we are actually progressing, but I am not satisfied. And I'll keep pushing you people to the wall until when you people become the machine that I am. Because I, will have, I must have failed if I cannot duplicate you people. Then I failed. Let me hear Mr. Uh, Amechi from Nigeria. Go ahead, sir. Oh, good evening, all. Yeah, good evening, sir. Mr. Ende, thank you so much. You are always doing what you know how to do best, and there's no doubt about it. We, we, we are hearing you, and we are equally listening. You see, it's not as if we are not doing. Myself, personally, I can't boast that I'm living up to the expectations, so to say. But nonetheless, I am doing my eyes breaking gradually. And uh, you find out that so many people you talk to or even say eye breaking to, you don't have to continue to count excuses. Because when we count excuses, excuses are very generous. The more you give, the more it comes for you to give more of your office. I have a young man who I would have brought on today, but due to what is not other, he was not able to make it. I also discovered that another thing here, especially here in this part of the country, I mean Nigeria to be precise, we have this issue of trying not to appear desperate. Okay? When we are networking or when we are inviting some people, we need to be very careful not to appear as if we are in desperate that you must join us. No, because we are very clever here. The time you invite somebody, tell the person repeatedly, maybe you tell the person to call and didn't call. If you call, the person will say, ah, why is this person even disturbing me? It's like he has one or two things going to do for me from here. But that is not the issue. Yeah. Am I on? Yes, go ahead. Yeah. So we are putting all these things into considerations. So I suppose that here, as if we are really that the money that these people are going to do transaction with that, that is just the idea of TBC, so to say. It's not that way, okay? And this involves a whole lot of education. Educating people, some may be interested, some may have the intention of coming in, but they don't even know how to use their, 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 their device. The Android phone. So to say. The Android phone. So it calls for two ways education. I have this man, I'm discussing from in Lagos. He has been close to a year or two months now. It was just yesterday that he said, look, I mean, that thing you've been telling me, oh, it's like you're making sense. Because I sent him one video. He said, it's like you're making sense. Making sense is saying that <laughs> people need, yes, people need to be educated. What has happened, many people don't know. They just see that things is not the way they used to be. But those of us who read, some people are not, they're just in their comfort zone thinking that things 
are the way they used to be, but it's no longer so. When they start feeling it, they say, ah, this person told me something relating to something like this, a kind of. So all those things, we don't need to appear as if we are in a hurry to start doing this thing, but actually we are working. Definitely, I have people who have been trying to push along, I you know, but I'm very careful not to manage anybody. Okay? Yes, I have sir. Tools I'll bring on on Monday, just as you said. But just believe me with that we are not quiet. Okay? We are doing our best. <laughs> it's all about people to see that things are no longer the way it used to be. And some will even start accusing you. But that is not the issue. So we give you all sorts of names, but we know where you are going. Cryptocurrencies is taking over. Yeah. But so many people don't know. So when you educate them, some will say that you people are using a, 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 a fear motivation. We are not motivating anybody through fears. We are just being realistic, helping them to see that, oh, look at how this thing is going. Okay, if you say that DPC or cryptocurrency is not working, the way you use your phone, then you years back. Is it the same way you are still using it? So, so many things has gone into it. So, I'm just in a short of word, but really, I'm moved by the way you spoke to us. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much for that contribution. Um, you are right. Um, we, 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 really have to, we really have to educate a whole lot of people. And uh, to add on what you are saying, you see, um, sometimes uh, people had some people where I bring them into TBC by telling them Bitcoin, you know? <laughs> It just depends the person that is in front of you. We have all categories of people in front of you that you might meet. I, I can bring you into TBC by telling you Bitcoin first. But of course, you are going to use but Bitcoin to activate your account. So look at it this way. You can sit tell somebody, have you ever heard about Bitcoin, for example? Say, yes, do you own some? So I don't know how those things work. So Good. Like, you own some. You know? Good. Yeah, the person will tell Good. you. If I have this money, what can I do with it? You can easily show somebody how to obtain cash from Bitcoin. Is that? Yeah. You can yeah. Show somebody how to obtain cash from Bitcoin. And when you show him that, you buy some, and then you do the transaction, you'll feel excited. You'll feel excited yeah. from there. If it's somebody that is knowledgeable enough. Now, once you feel excited, you not tell him that, look, when Bitcoin started, this is how it was, it was, it was, it was. Today, they are using yeah. it all over the world. Now, I have another alternative that it is also at the stage where Bitcoin was. And we are still at the stage of distribution. And trust me, you, if you have it now, then you have owned assets. Did you see? That has taken me just about five okay. minutes. Mr. Amechi, are you with me? Yeah. So, <laughs> sometimes, I'm with you. sometimes you bring some people by telling them how they can do new transactions and have cash, then you're not telling them that, okay, you can also have another crypto, which is different. That's why you now give him the differences between the, the Bitcoin and what we have. Those are all little techniques. It just depends who is in front of you. Hello. Yes. Can I just if you want? Yeah. Mm. You, you, you come across some people who are well off somehow financially, in a way. Okay? Yeah. And uh, they may not be interested as to what and what you need to do to do transactions, then the idea of just acquiring it and leaving it there, how can one actually push that across to them? Am I clear? No, I do not, I'm, I'm not getting where Okay, okay. Some people are attracted into the opportunity that they can do transaction, they can do 50-50, okay, and yeah. make money. Mm -hmm. Then others are attracted that this is an asset you know, that you can buy this thing and keep it and as time goes on, the time will come that you start using it. So people like that, the later set of people, you sometimes have difficulty, it's very hard to really get them on. Because they'll be asking you, what's the use of this? If you cannot use it immediately, or, okay, I'll give you a projection of two or three months, you like that, or even six months. How am I sure that I will start using it and transacting on things or using it to get whatever I want? Okay, so your, your, your problem is at a level where the people are interested to buy and keep, but they want some kind of uh, a, a determined time 
you should give them a period of time when you can be yeah. able to use it. Is that? Yes, some people like that. They have, I don't have the problem as myself, but people as I'm dealing with, some of them have that problem. So how do I break uh, that? Uh, Mr. Amenchi, you should not be the one asking this kind of question now. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, in, the in, that, cash, in, in, in our credit <laughs> cash back office, we already have something there that is so interesting that the admin has a, a, a place for us, known as what? Known as the 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 the, 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 the merchant zone. You know, tell the person that look. Once you have this coin, this is mm -hmm. in Nigeria. I'm sure you're in Lagos. So now this is Nigeria. He said, look, these are places that you can actually start using some of this coin. This is Lagos, for example. Look at Lagos. We, what, you just need to show him this. Tell him to make a call and I ask, can I spend my TBC okay. in the shop? And something like that. This is, this is what should be in your mind. Now, when somebody says that, okay, where can I actually use this? You can use it. I know that people are so much attracted to cash. But you should be able yeah. to prove to those people that money has evolved. We have okay. gone past the level of catching out money. We are, doing, we are doing transfer of wealth. Money has changed hands. Sometimes I would say like that. You know? Okay. When you tell them okay. that if you are so much interested in cash, know that the cash that you are so much interested in, one day you will get up and you will tell you your bank is closed. And I know some of you will, some of them will laugh. And I'll look at you and say, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Right. Tell them that, let them see what is happening in USA today. Tell them about the global economy, about the people controlling this earth, what is happening. Tell them all okay. that. Because if somebody's really interested to invest, but his problem is for how long? You have two things in your mind. No, three things. Okay. The first thing that should come in your mind is you want to show him the merchant zone. That's the first thing. Okay. Good. The second thing is you want to make him understand that money is dying down. Evolution of money, we are at the level of digital money. We are no more at the level of touching money. Start by telling him the evolution of money. But look, my friend, money started from trade by butter. From trade by butter in the days of the old, our parents, they were using, uh, 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 they were using cowries. Our parents, they were using cowries. After cowries, they were using, uh, uh, from cowries, I think they went to cash, I don't know, coins. From coins, they went to cash. From cash, they went to visa. From visa, they went to mobile money. From mobile money, we are in crypto. That is evolution of money. Huh? That is evolution of money. Are we together? And among all those, we had gold. We had gold. Among all that, we have gold, which is a universal currency and which is accompanying all of this so it is important for you to bring the mind of those people and tell about the evolution of money once you have shown sure. the money evolution of money and the economic crisis that is happening all over the world today do you understand can you hear me please yes i'm with you sir Yes. So, showing them where to spend the money, telling them about the evolution. If it is somebody that has an open mind, he's going to yeah. understand. The last thing I've mentioned too, the last thing you want to tell him is how Bitcoin started. Many of us here, we know about Bitcoin. How people Good. rejected Bitcoin. How people became very rich as a result of Bitcoin. Then from there now, you can even end by telling him the differences between Bitcoin and the TBC that we own today. You see the way you should go about it. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. So so that is you how just, that just, kind of situation. Mr. Ebe. Yes. Permit me to thank you that you just uh, 
help me to realize some other areas that okay. I've been neglecting. Good. So you see that most of these people, they are, they are so glued to how I used to be, you know? Some don't even know that things are changing, but with this idea that I just shared, I think you hear from me about that. I told you, you know, that's the difference between somebody who is doing training and somebody who is out there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, let me take another person. Another question, please. Very fast. Before we go. Please, if somebody wants to say something, quickly say it. Oh. Is it my network or what? Can you hear me, please? I don't know what is my network. Is uh, yes, I can hear you. Okay, go ahead. Okay, um, let's take any other question from any person. I'm seeing some people that are new. I want to welcome them on board. Uh, I don't know if they have any something specific they want to talk about. What's happening? Okay, no question. All right. Let's say um, tomorrow will be another day, right? If there's, <laughs> if there's nothing to talk about. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, Monday will be another day, and I'll be looking forward to have your report, right? I'll be looking forward to have your report. So see you guys uh, on Monday, please. Bye-bye. Too late.